know, exactly. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I didn't even see that yet. I know, I'm repping. Oh, I'm awesome. repping. You're, you are an office guy. You're ready to book them. I am. Yes, I saw it. the first episode. I loved it. Thank you. So let's talk about Terry. Terry Jeffries. Yes, yes. Let's talk about him. Who, who is he? He is uh, a guy who basically was obese in his past as an officer. And he decided, I'm going to get myself together. I want to be the best cop I can be. And he got himself in shape. And he became a super cop. But the fact is he had got married, had a family, two little twin baby girls. And now he's like, uh-oh, if I get back out there, I might die. I might not see my kids. And now he's having a real catharsis. This is a big, big problem for him. About He, he wants to do his job the best he can, but he can't because he's always thinking about his poor babies. And uh, it's a real, real life thing that cops go through. I mean, can you imagine? Anybody, any, any police officer with a family has to think about, you know, I might not come home tonight. And that's something that, you know, we're not going to get deep and dark, but it's, it's we deal with all of these, we deal with a murder in our first episode, all this stuff, but we deal with it in a comedic way. It's just the way, to, and I think the stakes being so high makes it funnier. I saw the first episode, and the, the chemistry in the, with the cast just seems like just awesome. How do you guys manage to get it right from the get-go? Well, you know, we, we read the script, and we loved it. I, when you see chemistry not working, you got somebody, two or three people in there who read the script, and they're like, uh, well. <laughs> then all of a sudden, you get out there, and then and it all comes out. Like, it's ain't working. It's not, I don't like you, and I don't like you either. And then it just all explodes. Well, we were like all on the same page. Let me tell you, we all want this to be life-changingly good. And we feel like we've accomplished it. I mean, no matter where it goes and how far we go, we know we've done everything we could do to make it as good as it could be. And uh, we got it. now it's time for America to judge. Now, my final question for you, what's your message for the viewers as they get ready to watch the first episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine? I would say relax, enjoy, sit with us, get yourself some chicken wings, you know what I mean? You know, some barbecue, a little bit hot and spicy, and then you get some lemon pepper, and you be good. You know what I'm talking about, right? And then you just sit back because this, this is the kind of show where it, it's not all encompassing the first episode. It, you just learn a little bit about every person. Then you come back the next week and you learn a little more and a little more and look at the dynamics between Terry Jeffers and, and uh, Joe Latruglio's character, you know, Boyle. And you learn, the, is there a romance blossoming over here? And you see, it's just going to be a wonderful experience that you can just hang with. And uh, these guys know what they're doing. Dan Gore and Mike Shore built parks and recreation, and they work with the office, they understand this kind of comedy. It's a great place.